Salut à tous, ici Carboom. Bienvenue donc à ce deuxième épisode de The Walking Dead Telltale. Donc la dernière fois, on avait échappé à nos premiers zombies, littéralement. Et donc du coup, nous sommes au... Enfin, peut-être pas au premier jour de l'apocalypse, mais quand même bien dès le début. Hein. Contrairement à la série où on commence, je crois que c'est un bon mois après le début de l'apocalypse. Sans plus attendre, reprenons là où on en était, c'est-à-dire juste après la barricade dans le petit quartier. Hello Anybody Bon. Donc, voilà, c'est pas encore l'idéal, mais c'est un peu vrai. Bon. J'ai l'impression qu'on a enlevé l'escalier ici. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Je pense que c'est quelqu'un. Anybody up there? Voilà, je, je crois que j'ai un petit bug de son là. Ils ont, euh, il a appelé à l'aide de deux façons différentes. Bon, <rire> ce n'est pas un super pouvoir. C'est un petit bug, mais c'est pas. Non, juste. Euh... En tout cas, pas de réponse pour l'instant. Cette case du monde à la maison, pour un coup de main, serait appréciable. Euh, ça ne pas très malin de le voir. Hello. Anybody home? You need a little help. Bon, je pense que ça va. Je veux dire, euh, c'est. S'il si y avait un des machins à l'intérieur, je pense qu'il aurait euh, un peu réagi au coup de, euh, de poing dans la vitre. Bah, c'est pas mal. Ah, non. Coming in. Don't shoot, ok? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Enfin, je suis un peu un intrus, mais. Ah, déjà la cuisine pour. C'est pas bon ça. Il est frais! Pas bon du tout. Ah, attends, de l'eau. Souviens que j'avais soif. Bon, si je trouve l'autre, ça peut être utile. Marshals, that's a Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Ah, donc il reste sur un enfant et une babysitter éventuellement. What's that beeping? Bon ça, j'ai continué à détacher de ça. Ah. Attendez. Three new messages. Message one. Left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it oh. checked out. And anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Oh. Message two. Left at Clementine, 11.19 okay. p.m. Oh. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. 
this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. Hmm. I'm going to ask the first question. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, no, I don't want to talk to his parents. I can already tell what's going on. Hello? Did they get you? Uh, I'm ah, sorry. Suits. I'm here. Ah, suits. Where are your parents? Yeah. They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Hmm. <laughs> did before me i think i heard her scream two nights ago maybe one of the monsters got her two nights ago yeah that's probably what happened you've been all by yourself through this yeah i want my parents to come home now <laughs> i think that might be a little while you know oh look i don't know what happened but i'll look after you until then what should we do now? Hmm. Non, la nuit m'a l'air plus dangereuse que le jour, donc je vais prendre la première option. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. C'est pas encore le top, mais ne plus être seul, c'est toujours impossible. Déjà, ça c'est pour avoir quelqu'un qui parlait. Ah oh, la vache. Bon. Je prends tout ce qui n'est pas zombie là, franchement. <rire> Allez. 
De toute façon, c'est pas des zombies, je suis preneur. Pour l'instant. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Hmm, ce sujet sensible. They won't. We should go. Then they'll find me, right? I won't leave you alone, okay? Ouais, de toute façon, non. On va partir du principe qu'ils vont pas revenir dans le coin avant mon hey, man. parent. Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Ooh, that's not Sean that. Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open space. <laughs> How about you help us clear the way and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Uh, a neighbor. C'est assez vague et en même temps, c'est pas un vrai mensonge. Ma voiture s'est crachée pas loin. <laughs> Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Please, quick. Let's go. Ah, mince. Merci pour ton aide. Those guys, neighbors too. Bon, déjà voir une enfant qui aide et qui passe pas son temps à pleurer, c'est largement appréciable par rapport euh, à ce que j'aurais pu euh, trouver euh, à la place de Clémentine. Hey Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Mm -hmm. yeah, that Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You brought Bonjour. a couple guests. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome yeah. to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. Not so it's just see you your daughter, out. then. Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. <laughs> okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Mm. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Bon, je pense qu'on va arrêter là pour uh, cet épisode juste avant le... la période de soins, on va dire. Donc, euh, bah, du coup, je vous ai demandé vous pour l'épisode 3. Bon, les choses commencent à aller mieux quand même, hein, par rapport à, à là où c'était arrêté précédemment. Donc, bon, bah, je vous dis à, à plus tard et à bientôt pour l'épisode 3. Ciao!